Brenda Buglione knows Dr. Stedman in a couple of different ways. Uh, you were a longtime member of the U.S. ski team, so you know him as a surgeon who did some work on you, but you also know him in, in a sense as a, as a dad who was on the team uh, as well, traveling with the team. When I first went to Europe with the U.S. ski team, I, in the 80s, I was 18 years old, and it's very intimidating because there's a lot of older girls and, and you have to perform. And um, Dr. Stedman and Gay would go to Europe with the team and travel from Austria to Switzerland and all over the all over Europe but it was just so nice to have them there because they didn't judge you and they are warm and caring and um, they became good friends versus someone that you had to perform for so it was really nice to have them and as a doctor he made your life better well he's done eight surgeries on my knees and um, but I'd even go to him to ask him you know, we would sit in his office trying to decide, should I have the surgery, should I not have the surgery, what should we do? But he was just so kind, and I looked up to him as someone that would give me good advice as, you know, as a surgeon and as a, as a person that cared about me. And when you go to see Dr. Stedman, you are the only one that matters in that room. Even though you have to wait for him sometimes, you're the only one that matters. It's hard to say anything warmer about Dr. Stedman than that. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you.